Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Dojo and Rage Life. I'm Jeff. And I'm Mike. Uh, we are playing the great Ace Attorney 2 Re Resolve, apparently. Is that like the subtitle? Just yeah, it's a subtitle. Resol Resolve? It's okay. not Attack of the Clones this time. <laughs> okay. uh, and we are going to skip the first the adventure of the Blossoming Attorney. We're just going to go directly into the... Wait, isn't that the Kokoro? Isn't that from the last game? <laughs> no, I think it's because we looked at them from last time. Well, actually, no, it might have been, actually. Yeah, no, because this is two. The Great Departed Soul. Maybe it's in the same place. The Twisted and his last bow. And the final chapter. Okay, but you know what? You know what? You know what? We're fucking professional video gamers. <laughs> we can figure out a goddamn Ace Attorney game. That's uh, true. Yeah. Let's start playing from the opening of, of this new one. So here we go. We're going to get into it. Wow. Right off the bat. We're going to do some some uh, some investigations with Herlock Sholmes. And uh, probably. I hope. Oh, no. A ghastly tale oh, of this night. one has. Oh, wait. That previous one had well, voiceover. Yeah. The crime perpetrated on the pavement along it was an the icicle. Road. Stabbed her with an icicle. That's what <laughs> happened. <laughs> an, icy, an ice knife. The mystery of just who had stabbed the young lady from behind had been resolved. Oh. Oh, but look. No sooner had my friend saved that Eastern Exchange student from his harrowing plight. Okay. That must have been the first chapter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, most likely. Did a second bizarre crime rend the stillness of that very night? Is he rhyming? I think so. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, dude. I dare say most can still recall the sensational headlines of the day. Oh man. Naked man attacks Don't other man. Death, <laughs> uh the condemned criminal. Who was it? Um uh, um the dread demon Spring Hill Jack? Death. Man, that'd be great if it was Spring Hill Jack. I don't know what that means. Spring Hill Jack was like a Victorian. It was like this really weird thing of like. Truth upon his arrival at the scene. It, apparently, it was just like a guy that was like running up on women and like groping them and then running away. But like everybody was like, he breathed fire and he leapt eight feet in the air and he looked like a demon. So. Huh. Um, Must have been all that cocaine that Nerudo made. <laughs> I think everybody was just doing cocaine. Yeah, we know, dude. Naruto. We, we, we know it, R R Naruto. Are you just starting out on your journey? This is the second game. <laughs> Six months ago, I arrived visiting student. See, look. Look at this. They're recapping it all. It's fine. We, it's fine. Uh, so at this point, we've made it to England. Oh, no, but you know what? We're spoiling the first game. He obviously was not prosecuted no. for the murder of that one guy. <laughs> Although he's the main character, so that makes sense. <laughs> Oh, look at that. But we don't know what happened to his friend. Maybe he did be the Maybe murderer. Maybe he did. Yeah, maybe his friend was the murderer. You have to play the game to find out. Who's that? What's that uh, angry beanbag chair doing on that shelf back there? I think it's a Russian nesting doll. <laughs> Very angry. S successfully defended a number of clients. Or maybe it's one of those Among Us dudes. Oh. It looks like one. But he has a mouth. Yeah, but it's, it's like a customized one. Grueling and unfor unforgettable legal battle four months ago now. I haven't returned to the courtroom. In truth, I lost my right to return. But that epic trial was just one small part of an epic tale. A tale which is now about to awaken from slumber. Thanks to a letter that arrived from my homeland. Oh, God, is it his friend? It, it's, it says, oh, we've my been God, there's a bear. Reach, we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> <laughs> what a delicious smell wafting up from the stairs. <laughs> it must be some, some delicious wall chicken. Absolutely. <laughs> Good on Mr. Shulm. Does he have a uh, Does he have a housekeeper? Um, what's what's Sherlock Holmes' housekeeper? Does he have a housekeeper? You know the lady and the that that takes care of him when the Baker Street house. I don't know. I never really read those areas. Okay, okay, guys, what's with the shoe? What's with the hammer? What's with the shoe and the hammer? These are all cases he's probably I feel solved like, in the I, past. I feel like I'm looking at the cap of a Lone Star bottle. Like <laughs> is this some kind of brain teaser here? <laughs> shoe hammer. Oh. Oh my god, it's fucking what's her face from My Hero Academia. Oh, um, uh, I know uh, you're talking about. I can't remember her name off the top of my head either. Yeah, Gentle Criminals, little buddy. La Brava? La Brava, yes. It's it's a very well rested La Brava. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> With like a regular sized face. Um, that we know of. Before we eat, I have some news. I had a surprise this morning. Wah! <laughs> it's me, Sher Sherlock Sholmes. Mr. Naruto. Um, all right. Oh, there he goes. I'm smoking your fine cocaine this morning. Oh, my God. How many people have been uh, cosplaying as this steampunk wannabe and I never knew? Probably a lot, to be yeah. honest. I didn't think about that until now. Ah, uh, yes. I see. Ah, ah, Jesus. Get the fuck back. <laughs> Sholmes. You son of a bitch. You coming on to me, Sholmes? Yep. My faculties of observation have revealed it again. What? I don't want to kiss you. Who wants to kiss? I don't want to kiss anybody. <laughs> you have this very morning 
With a surprise. Met with a surprise. God damn it. You have putting... morning wood today, don't you? <laughs> Why do they keep putting the, the reveal at the very end of that line? <laughs> Come on. Uh, you woke up very excited today, my it, friend. It barely warrants explanation. Firstly, your hair is particularly unkempt. Somewhere reminiscent of a bird's nest. You have neglected to fasten the third button of your jacket. Clearly, when considered together, these two facts point to you having been flustered this morning. No, dude, I was just doing a lot of super cocaine in the bathroom. Absolutely. So. With my hooker that I hired. Yes. Um, all right. I it's, kind of love him already. It's kind of <laughs> weird to see a blonde Sherlock Holmes, right? It like, is a little weird, especially with everything that's happened with yeah. media for, what, a decade now? Yeah. And the button was ripped off last night. Well, isn't um, Elementary's Sherlock Holmes blonde? I don't think he's dirty blonde. I don't think he's like blonde like that guy's blonde. Well, that's true, but like uh, it's, it's the only one that I can think of without like full on black hair. The uh, Ringo or whatever his name hair. is. Yeah. Johnny Lee Miller. Yes, uh, that one. It's after supper, wasn't it? Is he have a. Is it. He's, he got He Man logos on his buttons? Is this a tie in to that Netflix show? I thought they were like um, Taskmaster buttons. Oh, shit. Are they? The third string snapped. Why well, did they have to Why? <laughs> You know, it's kind of interesting, Michael, after all this time, to see a Sherlock Holmes that's not like a degenerate drug addict that's all fucked up, because the last like four or five have been that. So. Yeah, there's been quite a few. <laughs> it's like Robert Downey Jr., Johnny Lee Miller, fucking Benedict Cumberbatch. The new, the, that last thing they came out with on Netflix. I forget the name of it already, but yeah, he was drug out of his mind. Wait. Oh, the Irregulars. Yeah, the Irregulars. Oh, because he was regular, because Sherlock was regular in uh, Enola. Right? It was just yeah. Henry Cavill being... Uh, Buff as shit. Yeah, just fucking <laughs> beefcake Sherlock. Sherlock beefcake. I kept expecting him to flex in his jacket. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Runa said when he came in, didn't he? I had a surprise this morning. I kind of want to <laughs> see Henry Cavill go like, I have a deduction and then uppercut somebody. Yeah. <laughs> or just fucking flex his way all the way out. <laughs> it was him and just flexes and points. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what the fuck? He'd be like, uh, what's his name in um, um, uh, uh, Alchemist, right? Oh, yeah. That uh, <laughs> I already forgot his name. Armstrong? Armstrong, yeah. yeah Lieutenant Armstrong. Mm -hmm. I love the episode where that guy tries to date his sister, and she's just like, I'm really into like, men like him. It's just like, I'm all flexing. <laughs> oh, man, bacon. I have a new herbal tea for us, too. Try my latest special blend. They are! It is fucking La Brava! <laughs> Iris Wilson. Uh, oh, so what? maybe that Dr. Wilson probably his daughter. Is, might be his daughter. Yeah. Because that's who it was. Yeah, yeah probably okay. so. You were right about that then. Yeah. That's the case. Uh, highly successful serialization. Oh, she's a fucking manga artist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Adventures of Herlock Sholmes is published in Ranced Magazine. They're mostly erotic. Why do you tie your hair into a giant bow? Come on. Uh, all right. Won't you put us out of your misery? What surprised you? Well... I got this letter from Japan. What? Oh, my God. Oh, from Susie. Who? What? Who? Oh, we should have played, never played, played the, the entirety <laughs> of the first game before we started the second game. It's fine. Uh, in the middle in of the, the second game. In the 15-minute break, yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows I can finish uh, Phoenix Wright games in 15 minutes, Michael. No, no, uh, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they know. I don't even think you could, I don't even think you could, like, I don't even think you could get through this dialogue even if you weren't, like, reading. Oh, look at all this. All right. What am I supposed to do? Present so, my. Uh, so you can present the letter. Oh no, I don't have it. Well, I guess. Oh, I guess we just have to talk to them about it then. Oh, so converse. Converse. About the letter. This is the letter. By. Okay, I just got to calm down now because it's obviously this is not going to get any faster. No, it's never no going to get any faster. Uh, it says send nudes. <laughs> Send dick pic is what it She's says. She's faring well. Oh, is that, the, is that the lady from the first one that was with the dude? Yeah, that's the only thing that makes sense to me. Her name is Susie? Well, her <laughs> name's Susato, but we call her Susie, apparently, oh, which makes okay. even less sense, to be well, honest. Well, yeah, yeah. A cut above your good self, my dear fellow. I've won cases, too, you know. I'm a lawyer, yeah. I think. It's, uh, Mr. Naruto, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh. oh, of course you do. We helped that man twice. Those things that we did that we don't remember. <laughs> yeah. The mustache twitchy man with somewhat feline eyes and the mustache. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
So the, you you've not played any of this, right? I've never played any of the greatest because they never came out in America. Okay, and they weren't translated the way like because so the translation like they came of... out with was like really difficult even for the second Edgeworth game. Right, because a lot you have to like because the thing about localizing these sorts of things is that a lot of names are puns. Right, and it makes it very difficult to like make things work in a way that like makes the game work. So a lot of local people who make translations have a really hard time doing that with these types of games. You can't just like run it through Google Translate. If you do, it's just going to like it's it's a game about logic. Right. So it makes it that much more difficult to like really make sure that the game makes sense. That's the reason the uh, the second Edgeworth one took so long because there's this thing that's only in that game hmm. that's a game of logic chess. Okay. <laughs> and it's the only game that has it. And so like there's no easy way of doing it because of it. But I, I've never played any of these because they never came in America. Okay. Because people were worried. Because the thing is that, like, he's, he's the ancestor of Phoenix Wright, but in America, Phoenix Wright is fucking from California. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, it makes very little sense. So it's just like, what? You're breaking Phoenix Wright continuity, game. Like, that's the gag about, like, eat your hamburgers, Apollo, and they're eating, like, fucking sushi. Yeah. Because it's like, they have to, like, be like, this is in California, but there's just Japanese imagery fucking everywhere. <laughs> Compile the whole story in a nice, neat manuscript, ready for publication. So funny about it. He was very mean. Okay. Meh. All right. <laughs> Did you was like high off my fucking mind? <laughs> Did you get like conked in the head or something? Like a big cartoon hammer, that big cartoon hammer on the shelf by the fucking shoe. Uh, the giant fucking chess pieces. Okay, Miss Susata's repatriation. Sure, we're talking about all kinds of stuff. Since we waved Susie off at Dover, do you go here in the in the other one? Oh, yeah. Does it take place here? Is it just the first one that takes place and then you like go with your buddy to England? That's, that's where maybe. you meet Herlock Holmes? I don't know. To do a telegram she received from her homeland, I believe. It's it's exciting people for me to play one of these games and not know what the fuck's going on. Because <laughs> you've just memorized all the rest of them. I've memorized like one through four and five, I guess, because uh, I've only beaten that one the one time. Um, and I'm trying to beat six right now, but I keep, I keep getting sidetracked. <laughs> keep playing Duke Nukem. I keep playing Duke Nukem, yes. <laughs> But um, also, I just I have too many shiny things because the sixth one's on the 3DS, so I don't feel like pulling out the 3DS that often. Yeah. And so I have to like I have to remember that I have it. <laughs> yeah. I might just fucking I might just cheat on it at this point because at this point I just want to know what's going on in the story. <laughs> sure. Well, you can play this one without having finished that one, right? This is a prequel, so true. But I would just like I would like to know what happens in six though. Okay. Because that game came out ages ago, and I still have not know how. I just still don't know how it ends. Oh, Jesus. I got his outfit on. Yeah. Oh, my God. It got quite drafty in here. Uh, but you said... Whoa. I have engaged this idea, fellow. My calendar is quite surprisingly full today. Uh, all right. Even if I were quite at leisure. Okay. I kind of really like his design, to be honest. Yeah. It's super steampunk, but it's still very Sherlock Holmes. I like the number of hearts they've managed to put onto La Brava over here. Yeah. <laughs> like so many. She got one in between the goggles, in between her goggles, even All though that doesn't sleeves. make any sense. How the fuck would you put that on your nose? It would just poke you in the nose if you tried to put your goggles down. I guess that's true. Um, yeah, cause she's got under the goggle, her hair, her sleeves. Mm -hmm. I didn't see anything the else. Back of her gloves, or I guess it was like sleeves, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, it was involved in two cases, but only one of them was forbidden from being published. Of all people, Mr. Sholmes. Oh no. So do we have to like go investigate? Is there not even a trial for this? Ep for this? Uh, uh... Well, the beginning is always the beginning of the second case is usually like this, like the move around stuff, talk to people, mm. and then maybe. Um, but usually, usually there's a trial, or usually there's a crime that's like given to you at that point. Okay. But I think at this point we haven't gotten it yet. All right. Well, let's see what what we got. The secret of the haunted lodgings. Because every every one is like the first one's a trial, and then maybe there's like an investigation after it. But the second oh. one always starts off this way. What the hell? She's got a gun. What? She's got a pop it gun. Is that a gun? <laughs> yeah. And so. Iris and I decided to read over the case notes again together, everything from what happened to our investigation and that fierce battle in court. So this is a flashback. Really? <laughs> no, he's just talking about reading, I think, the case from prior. Because, of course, 
I'm no longer allowed to practice law in the courts of Great Britain. So something happened in the last case. Like, apparently. Where they were told to fucking stop doing that shit. Yeah, they were like, you object too much, my good sir. You're too <laughs> Japanese. Yeah. Kept talking about tentacles. He's yep. freaking us out. <laughs> Six months ago, a mysterious incident unfolded in the wintry streets of London. Is it the dead guy? Oh, boy. Somebody killed um, Humpty, Humpty Dumpty. Dumpty. Yes, that exactly. dude was fucking around his shit. Uh, fortunately, her life was spared, but she was unconscious for several days following the incident. She suffered from nephritis. The, the fat saved her. Yep. Okay. The fog was thick, and nobody saw her attacker, but by a cruel twist of fate, a visiting Japanese student was walking behind her. <laughs> this oh, is exactly the same, same as the last one. For the last one. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh. Wait, is this the Japanese student? No. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. I guess it was. <laughs> and Mr. Sholmes arrested him. And then we were like, hey, man, this is no, this is no, no, no good. After a grueling trial of many twists and turns, we finally managed to prove his innocence. Okay. Did you just dab? I think uh, he did. What is wrong with his eyeballs? I don't know. Somebody didn't color in his, his pupils. We received a telegram from Mr. Shelves the following morning. Uh, was he murdered? The victim of the Briar Road stabbing has regained consciousness. Hurry to Bart's at once. Why? Is that a hospital? We've got to go to Bart Simpson's house. St. Bart's. Uh, They're eating shorts there. So uh, handsome and went to the hospital. Okay. Okay, I guess maybe it is a flashback. Oh, wait, no, maybe. I don't know. I think the game keeps putting up dates like I know what fucking day any of this shit happens. <laughs> oh, the continuity, that. Jeff. Dude, look at that big rat. That's a big rat. Motherfucker's huge. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Sholmes. Oh. It's not a good morning. Whoa. Oh, so this is a flashback. Yeah. Uh... It's a 20 minute ride to the hospital. If it's a Phoenix ride game, you're legally obligated to have a small Asian woman as your assistant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yep. You've been waiting around. Yep. Except for the lawyer in the fifth one, I guess. I don't think she counts that way, though. Because she's a lawyer, so she's not an assistant. Completely different. Sent just that I've been around such an era. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, 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 yep. Let's investigate. The rat did it. Put that rat on trial. Objection. That rat cle clearly from Mouse Hunt is the reason that person was murdered. Oh, there's that lady. Wow, she is tiny. Uh, you should introduce yourselves. And I shall observe from here. Okay. So that's the lady that was found on the snow covered pavement with a knife in her back. And her name is uh, Miss Green. Well, that's not very exciting. Big fan of Professor Plum. Yeah. All right. Let's. Um, okay. I guess we'll start by examining Miss Green. Good morning. Where? <laughs> Don't she, stab me. Wish she looked at us. Just freaked me out. Okay. Did she stab herself? Was it your knife that? Are you the man who stabbed me? Why would you just assume that? I'm a lawyer. Also, that guy was innocent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right. Ah, was it you? Was it you that stabbed me? <laughs> oh, you want us to stab you? I'm cool with stabbing you. Uh, yeah. You've come to finish the job. <laughs> I guess you know. This time we're gonna throw you out the window. <laughs> I, I can't really talk about what it what it, your mental state would be after getting stabbed because I've true. never been stabbed before. So I'd like to Olive Green. Okay, all right. That's a very plain name. Mm -hmm. uh, you might say it's Drab. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's that terrible. was really <laughs> stupid. That was really stupid. Let the game make terrible puns. Yeah. <laughs> She's got a key and a bunch of paint. Okay. I don't have any talent. I know I don't. Uh, maybe don't could, be worried about that. Maybe you could You paint, made that mouse, I assume. You could paint the picture of the the stabber. The stabulator. Okay. That's a shame. The thing is that we're here. We should ask her about what happened from her perspective, I suppose. And then when she tells us, objection! <laughs> just objection you right stabbed her yourself. <laughs> you threw the knife down and jumped onto it. What a terrible experience you had. I mean, it sounds... It was so cold and the fog was so thick, I couldn't see a thing. 
That was four days ago. Yep. I almost said not as thick as her as a gag, but I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> comatose, right? Okay. The case has been solved. Kind of? I mean, we don't know. Sure you did. <laughs> Mr. Sholmes! It was Naruto's hard work. I'm sorry, Naruto's hard work. Uh, <laughs> what's the key go to? After playing... <laughs> After beating Skyward Sword, I'm like, give me the key. I know, <laughs> give me the key. I know I'm going to need it to get to the boss. So Absolutely. It's, uh, the big, it's the big boss key. It's got the skull on it and everything. There's no big keys in uh, Skyward Sword. Is there not? Nope. Just regular keys. Have there been big keys in a lot of the other games? Or am I just thinking of Link to the Past a lot? I do not know. Uh, I'm not sure about the other games. I know Link to the Past is fucking covered in them. Her name should be blue, not green. Um... Uh, She's Wait, we didn't really find out shit about the incident. No. It was cold and it was foggy. Oh no! I couldn't possibly claim that. My goodness, lady. You gotta get some self-respect, woman. Here, here's some of super cocaine. This will help. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna make you super happy. I'm the greatest! <laughs> it's gonna be like Pam. Yeah. Just fucking headbutting Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> oh, I thought this was the hospital. I, I thought it was right. too, but I don't think it. it oh. There's an e and shit in here. Okay. But there's also a clipboard on the edge of her bed, so it might still be a hospital. Oh no, is it? Brighton is some ten stops away on the underground from here, and Thorndike Academy is a mere three-minute walk from Brighton Town Center. Does that matter? Okay. Mara is far less salubrious part of town by comparison. This game needs me to have a dictionary, doesn't it? <laughs> by inferior means. Ah! The Maleficent Mr. Mustache. Was his name Mr. Mustache? No. Oh. But I'm pretty sure that's fucking... I don't know. There's oh, something so off scary. about him. So, so sicky. Maybe he's an automaton. He's a vampire. <laughs> uh, he attacks people with his mustache. He yeah. takes it off and throws it at them. Uh-huh. Okay. You should be ashamed of yourself prying into a young maid's private affairs. I don't even know what just happened. This guy's a he's a he's a weirdo. Does he think she's a hooker? What's happening? I, I have absolutely no idea what's going on. I'm being discharged shortly, so I need to pack up my things. Oh, so this is the hospital. Of course, we won't keep you. And she's been painting in the hospital? Yeah, she just had her stuff For here. Like three days? Okay. We can examine us though. Uh Look at this. The Michelin Man. It's a step off Marshmallow Man. This is the most charming, is it? It's a decoration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Come on. Right. Did you see the new Ghostbusters trailer, by the way? Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> I just, like... I, I was watching it, and I was thinking... Um, you know what was really cool was when I first saw Ghostbusters, the original concept that was made up by like creative people. And you know what I'm not interested in is just like fucking digging up the bones of old ideas over and over and over again until they become so stale and worthless that we don't care about the things we used to love anymore. Um, That's dark. <laughs> well, I just fucking, I don't give a shit, man. Like, I just want to go watch, like, uh, if I want to watch Ghostbusters, I just go watch Ghostbusters. Like, okay. Uh, I'm really excited about it, though. But that's because I'm very curious as to what Jason Reitman's going to do with it. Yeah. Because Jason Reitman's always been a very specific, like, his movies are not known for, like, this sort of thing. Yeah. So that's why I'm more interested in it more than anything, to be honest. I just, I couldn't help but, like, roll my eyes and be like, eh. eh ah! Oh, my God. Narofada. Narofada? Narofada? Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, he just doesn't know how to say, <laughs> say the name. Mr. Naruto, this is for you. It's a message from Mr. Saucy Nutsmeg. Now that's today's attorney. There name. you go. <laughs> I bet Mr. Saucy Nutsmeg is the stabber, uh, almost certainly, right? Why would a policeman be delivering a message from Mr. N from Mr. Natsume. Natsume? That dude does not know how to pronounce things. <laughs> Saucy Nutmeg. <laughs> uh, open it up and see. Yeah. No. Never. Don't give it to Sholmes. He's going to read it and then eat it. And be like, ah, no, I'll tell you well, what it's Well, well, well. This is another send nudes message, isn't it? Is something wrong, Mr. Sholmes? He says, have you seen this note? 
What? Um, we haven't read the thing. <laughs> you read it first. London's criminals have no intention of letting the great detective rest. You know what? I, I tried. I tried watching that. Um, uh, Moriarty the Patriot anime. Uh, the what? Which is this, it's really weird. It's a. It's basically like the first. I only watched the first episode, but it's like an anime where it's about Moriarty, um, and he just like helps people who need who are in trouble who can't go to the law in like Victorian London. That sounds kind uh, of awesome, actually. He's got a big top hat and everything, and he's he's a super bishy like fey, uh, pretty boy anime guy. Like he's got all this like super blonde hair and stuff. That's so weird. Uh, it's on Funimation. I watched the first one of those. All right. I need to catch up on my hero now I think about wow. it. Took place at Mr. Mustache's lodgings. What? Oh, it happened at uh, the dude's house. What's up? Okay, I know what a handsome is, but I don't know what a faker is. Yeah, can you guys give me a codex for this game? And I was just talking about how much I don't like I, codexes. I think but it's like, like a taxi or something. All right. Um, it was only yesterday that so Seki San was in court and we were dispelling doubts about his innocence. And now, the very next day, so this did tie into the first one. Yeah. Michael tried to warn me about this, so I was I wouldn't listen, everybody. It's well, I usually they're listen. not this tied together right away. Yeah, but I don't know. Let's go with it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We got to do some investigation. I mean, if we played the first one, it's just going to be forty minutes of getting told how to do stuff. Yeah. So that's always like, they at least start off that way. Ah! Holy shit! Is that Mister Nutmeg? Nutsmeg? I know, but he's saucy nuts, Meg. <laughs> the way that guy's dead is so insane. The gentleman is deceased without question. He's dead. Oh God, <laughs> this guy's back here. <laughs> he reminds me of Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, he does. But I guess if he was Japanese. Why is this happening to me? I've only just got out of court yesterday. I feel like at this point, this is just like uh, judgment is just the serious version of this game uh i can see that woeful worm without wiggle oh my god we should have played the first one <laughs> this guy's great mr Kinda mustache is the best <laughs> not the horrible herlock shobes <laughs> shoo shove off show yourself the door i never invited you i'm not getting <laughs> accused of murder again. we don't even have to go to the trial to see him freak out uh yep. he's just pre-freaked out i'm used to the murderers being that doing that sort of thing yeah I love it when they get all nervous and they start sweating and then they just fucking freak out. Just lose their goddamn minds. Yeah. Is the guy in the very first case who like has a has a, a really bad toupee that comes oh, yeah. off? Uh, <laughs> he fucking throws it at Oh, it's Gregson and he's got some chips, some fish and chips. Oh, that's Look nice. at that. Wrapped in newspaper. Like a fucking horrible, horrible what a pleasant idiot. surprise. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's one way to do it. Nom, 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 nom. Fuck now. Oh, he just keeps... <laughs> he's got infinite fish. Look, I'm just going to not do it. He just keeps fucking... How many fish you got in there? Fish for days. Wacha! And then more fish, and... But never chips. Never the chips. Wacha! He's got a magic <laughs> fish and chip cup. <laughs> I want a magic fish and chips uh, newspaper. Your heartburn is the result of your excessive consumption of fried food. I'm just eating fish for days there. Uh, good morning, Inspector. This is a crime scene. Don't you go touching anything. You don't you get your fish fingerprints all over everything. <laughs> You're offering right. me some fish. I'm cool with that. Cup of fish. Cup That's kind of neat the way it's laid out this yeah. way. Let's look at examine. I'm going to examine Let's stuff. Let's look at the dead guy. Examine his cup. Boy, I said hands off. You're going to mess up my crime scene. I just wanted to look at stuff. No chance, hot pants. Uh... They're the one eating food out here. <laughs> Someone's in a bad mood. It's called miasma. What? Why is he? Why is he laughing? Was that funny? I think he said the bad air. I guess was a joke. Okay. Uh. Well, let's talk to Can I look Mustache at other stuff? Man. If it has a check mark uh, on it, it just means he's gonna tell us to fuck off. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fine. Why is he wearing sandals? Because he's from Japan, Jeff. <laughs> right, but he's got a suit on. Is he like, put, some, put some socks on. Hey, man, you can't have your bare feet out here. <laughs> I love him. He's so twitchy. I love how just like insane his eyes are, by the way. Yeah. Uh, then having finally regained my freedom, it starts happening all over again. Whoa. <laughs> 
It's all IMCA, bitches, babies. <laughs> all right. Some victim lived here on the ground floor, and your room is just one story up. Mm hmm. That's right. We were neighbors. Sexual neighbors. Man, I really love the fact that I don't have any neighbors above or below me. <laughs> I've, I've, been, uh, I've been nice with my neighbor next to me lately. Oh my, God. Nice. my friend used to live in a place where his upstairs neighbors, they were so into Dance Dance Revolution oh, all geez. the time. And so it's just like all the time. Just freaking out. Uh-oh. I seemed so shaken by it. Uh, was it a complete stranger? Oh, no. He didn't invite me to his room. Never. He uh, didn't accuse you of anything, buddy. Is he... Is he mad about that? Did he want to go to his room? Man, his eyes are twitching like crazies. All right. Oh, yeah. What an extreme reaction. He's on, the, he's on that super cocaine as well. Um, no, I'm cool with having asked it. Felt wretched, which is why I sent word asking you to come. Because I thought that there was like, isn't there kind of like a whole... In this one, from that one video, it was like the E3 video or something that they had where it was like... You can actually like object and point stuff out during the investigation phase as well, I'm like to sure. clarify. This is the thing where Herlock Sholmes, there was like a character that was uh, like a, a dark, like a mustache. William Shamspear. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> he was an actor, a bit of a dead loss as it happens, or just dead. Mr. Shamspear. Oh, no. Mr. Garadeb. Okay, okay, all right. Blood and rice, usual. Security have got worried and kicked the door down. Isn't that okay? Never mind. Uh, okay. what hunchback? Because he's hunching. Okay. Victim was pretty hard up. Even done some time for petty crimes. He had no money, no place to go, and no friends. Same acquaintance for people's in the, in this house. Miserable life, a miserable end to it. God, dude, the man just can fucking inhale fish. His, uh, he also has a window that looks out onto a brick wall. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's not involved in investigations. Shouldn't you have sent him away from the crime scene? Well, I'm not saying it's because the fellow looks odd or anything, or that he acts suspicious, but I thought it'd be prudent to take a statement from the co uh, cohabitor. <laughs> Gonna accuse him of everything, isn't it? Yep. How else do you explain him being in the room where there's a dead person? Michael, come on! He just said he broke the door down to find them. Yep. That's just, that's exactly what a person who stabbed somebody would say. <laughs> we don't know that he was stabbed. Uh, they won't let us look at him. He was killed with infinite fish. Okay. The body is still warm. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Well, that just seems like a diff. Okay, all right. Is that it? Oh, we, we gotta done? use the left so we can look at the round of the room. Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> it's Herlock just Shobes. fucking hanging out up there. What's he doing? Why are you doing that? You're investigating. No, you're not. You're posing. You're voguing. <laughs> uh, doing some JoJo ass shit back there, buddy. Yep. This is already thinking twelve moves ahead. I've been here before in this room for five minutes. So far, all I've managed to deduce is what actually happened. <laughs> Turns out Robert Downey Jr. did it. Fuck's sake, we don't even need to go to court. Uh, He's just going to keep blaming people for shit, and then we have to find them innocent, don't we? <laughs> yes. Yes. It's kind of strange that we moved to this after... Um, bah! Whoa! Uh, after talking to that lady. <laughs> yeah. Wait, was this guy stabbed with an icicle? He's just freaking the fuck out. And my second conclusion is that there was a poison lingering in the air here last night that passed the victim's lips. Nonsense! What? Oh. What do you keep objecting to? <laughs> yes, exactly. What? Fucking leave that, dude. Uh, oh, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Impossible to ignore. All right. What you got, Sholmes? Show me the, show me your chops. 
A real moment. Great deductions. Okay. All of the deductions. Presented for your pleasure in two acts. For some truly astounding great deductions from Mr. Sholmes in the past. No doubt this will be no exception. What miracles will unfold before our eyes this time? All right. For all your delight and wonder, let the curtain rise. For Herlock Sholmes' logic and reasoning spectacular, act one. This takes a long oh. swig. Whoa. Whoa. Cool. I like this part. All right. Oh, I like this. Ooh, I really like this part. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Reveals to us the events that transpired. This is like what what the that video I was talking about did. Oh, okay. Uh, foam at the mouth. The disease clearly indicates the use of poison. He reacts from that. And next to the victim, we notice a large dining plate, which contains, you'll observe, butter? Oh, it's soap? Soap? He ate Was soap? he eating, eating soap? Like the victim's last supper, in fact. And could it be that the man was about to eat it? Of course, the fork reveals the answer. He's like, what? <laughs> Quit looking at me, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to deduce. Uh, tight was his undoing. Taking up arms in the form of his cutlery, the victim engaged in deadly battle for... Dude, I kind of love this part. This is it great. It is pretty like, fun, actually. Yet the struggle against his hunger... <laughs> hunger was in vain in the end. He could resist devouring this... <laughs> So he poisoned himself with soap? Shows is what his you? deduction is? London's foul smoke, soap is besmirched uh, by foul poison. That's an actual thing, I think, at that point. Yes, the victim's life was claimed by poison that tainted the contents of the plate. So you're saying that he lost the battle with hunger, ate soap, and then died. The soap and the lather about the young man's mouth are too perfectly matched to ignore. That's so dumb. That's a dumb <laughs> deduction. The cause of death was clearly intoxication due to excessive ingestion of foul soap. Though personally, I have a greater interest in the taste of foul candle wax, of course. What? Are you eating candles? What the fuck? He is the stupidest stupid man that ever... Oh my god, here we go. Two. Oh, this is different. It's a kind of clear Suicide game. or murder? <laughs> Cause of death identified, we proceed to act two, where we can ponder the next question. Was this suicide or murder? <laughs> guys, so freaking out at stupid shit, you dumb asshole. <laughs> the audience will recall that. Yeah, we totally should have done part two in the first one. Uh, this is better than, than reading dialogue in court all day. Every day. Uh, this single teacup suggests the answer. To draw a conclusion, such meager evidence will be. <laughs> his eyebrows so much. <laughs> I love this fucking thing. Careful criminal could have absconded with his own cup to cover his tracks. Well, allow me to lift the veil of doubt, my dear fellow. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, what reveals the answer, of course, is the broken lock. I mean, the lock was broken before. Yeah, he said he knocked it down, right? The forced open now. The time of the incident, the door was locked. And the sole key was in the victim's pocket. Oh, so he couldn't have locked it from the outside. In other words, when the victim consumed the poison, he must have been alone. Alone with his inferior soap, which, wa which from whence wafted an inferior scent. Why is the whole thing that he ate the soap? <laughs> like, I just, I, yeah, I don't know. That's the, you, it was all based on a bad assumption. Uh, oh my God. Fuck off, Herlock Shobes. What the fuck, <laughs> Herlock Shobes? Oh my God. Solved it. Suicide. No possible perpetrator present. So we can just assume it's the opposite, right? Yeah, no, of course he was murdered. We Thus, just don't know how he was murdered. Final actor, Herlock Shobes, great deduction. Now we get to, like, now we get to object to him. Um, we would have to look at the evidence. That yeah. was the issue. I think they give us a chance. I think Gregson's going to just be sick of his shit. It's like, that's stupid. It's just one thing, Mr. Shobes. You're supposed to identify just one thing, aren't you? What are you, Columbo? I'm going to Columbo the shit out of your face. Well, no matter how hungry I was, do you really think the man would have eaten soap? <laughs> that's stupid. You're stupid. Whole thing is stupid. This man barely had a penny to his name. It's a curious thing, but he to one sold the soap. <laughs> soap can suddenly appear quite irresistibly appetizing. What? <laughs> no. Come on. She's like, that's stupid. Yeah. I tried a little soap myself in the past. <laughs> you, what? Why? It was, oh, it was a long time ago. I was in college. I thought it would clean out my inside. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> The world's greatest detective, everyone. I ride the nagging on the floor and split spilt the contents of my stomach. Yes, I believe it did. 
Experience taught me a valuable lesson. Soap is quite poisonous. Don't fucking eat soap. Yeah. That's an unpleasant taste leads to great discomfort. In summary, I cannot recommend eating soap. <laughs> cool. Good job, Sherlock Holmes. Uh, Great. Uh, fantastic. Yeah. What is it? What What do you got? <laughs> He's acting like a fucking crazy person? He's just fucking losing his mind. <laughs> in the Some shuddering quivering out of the corner of my eye, almost as if Mr. Sherlock's deductions touched a nerve somehow. Uh, nonsense. At least he fucking felt defeated this time. Yeah. Okay, so... Great detective detectives may need some corrections in order to reach the actual truth. There we go. So now we get to do corrections. Oh, okay. Uh, he has a tendency to hit the nail on the side of the head and drive it in at an obtuse angle. That's pretty <laughs> good, actually. Falls uh, to us to straighten things out. All right. Let's see what we can do. Okay. So this is like the system that they have for this one. I've always been... I've always been iffy about the the specific systems, right? Oh, okay. uh, like, I don't like the unlock the heart system. I, I was more like, I kind of like the classic stuff, so. Well, because there uh, was the unlocking the, the locks to get people's lies. Yeah. There's seeing their their ticks in Apollo Justice. Right. And then uh, feeling their one. emotions in Ace Attorney 5. Okay. <laughs> because that's that's because each lawyer has something specific for them. Except for except for Edgeworth. Edgeworth's entire thing is just being logical. Yeah. Which I fucking like I, I laughed really hard at that because Hilario pointed that to me. He's like he's like, you realize his entire thing is just logic? That's his gimmick. Is not like mystical num mumble boom bull bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Foam with the mouth into the seas clearly indicates the use of poison. Now, so the, whatever the poison thing is, is something. Do we have like a... Well, I don't... Wait. A receipt for some books that Mr. Nosumi purchased at a secondhand bookshop. Oh, okay. Uh, but I don't have like an objection button or anything. I don't, yeah. I think so we're just going we through I it. I think we're just going through it. We so just large dining plate, which it. contains one bar, size of bar of soap, meaningful, indubitably, wise soap set purposely on the dish, like the Last, the last Supper. supper. <laughs> hmm. Okay. The fork is what confused Why him. would he eat soap with a fork? <laughs> Can't deny the fork implies the man was eating something or about to eat something. Yes, that's true. Or to decide to eat some soap, I should prefer to use a fork rather than tip it with chopsticks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Are you going to eat soap? Just do it with your fucking bare hands. Uh, Just take a giant bite of soap. Yeah. Might there not be some other explanation? Something material that proves whether or not the man really ate soap? Uh, let's well, see. We can look at the fork. Yeah, the fork should show the what's on it. Suppose you'd eat soap with a fork, would you? I think it's a question of which implement you'd use. You wouldn't eat soap. Full stop. But then why? <laughs> oh dear. I understand your frustration, Mr. Naruto. Uh, the point is, if we decide the man uses fork to eat the soap wouldn't be changing Mr. Shulm's deduction. Uh, okay. So we have to look at the soap. So we gotta look at some other stuff. Nope. Can't look at soap. How about Not the teacup? teacup then, yeah. He was drinking tea with his soap. The cup's empty. That's for an idea. Perhaps the cup was full of water. He was dissolving the soap so he could gulp down as much as possible. This is so weird. This just doesn't actually... Please remember that he may not actually have been the soap lover that he's been made out to be. <laughs> okay, can we about this? see the sleeve? Sleeve? Nope. Nope. Wait, what was that? Was that fork? Did it hide it? Teacup? So it says it when I when I go over something. What's like, that down there? What's that? The bottom right. This? Oh, no, that. This? I guess it can't. doesn't let us look. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, so wait, can we, well, it says the fork reveals the answer. Well, it's just the same oh. thing, right? There's other, are there, wait, is there like, can we look at like the bite marks? Like, are you able to click on it when you're just looking at it? Or that's not the fork? Uh, Take that! wait, fork. Oh, we just had to 
point at it. What purpose does a fork serve? It's an implement for eating, but do people eat whatever's on their plates? In other words, it couldn't be clearer. The victim was eating this bar of soap. What? No, but that's what I'm saying. It's right. Oh. Yeah, but we haven't actually done anything. Uh, <laughs> we should point out the tea, tea cup again. Okay. Oh, man, we're, we're fucking out we of just, time again. We just got deducted <laughs> on that one. Yeah. All right, let's... Um, why do we have a sword? <laughs> I don't know. It's probably like some kind of ceremonial lawyer bit thing. See, because I, I can't like... Could it be the man who's eating a fork? Some soap on a plate and a fork in hand. Right. Even so, surely you wouldn't try to eat the soap no matter how hungry you were. So what you must determine. Was the victim eating soap when he died or not? Until we can establish that with some certainty, we shan't make any progress. Talk about a slippery problem. I mean, there's only like... There's only the teacup, right? I, as soon as I can tell... Wait. Other pieces of soap. Well, that's what I was. Oh, fuck you, game. <laughs> wait, but wait. Oh, it, like did we like moved the we camera? We moved it, and then yeah, that's what happened. Oh, how do we move the camera back then? Uh, is there? A oh, I guess when we look at the move? fork, then it moves, yeah, the, then camera. It moves the camera. Oh my back. god, that's a little fiddly. <laughs> god damn you, game. Uh, all right. That's why we didn't see the the other piece of soap. Yeah, because I was like, there's something clearly on the ground. I just don't. Yep. Know, I can't see it. What about the other half of soap? Aha! I've destroyed your facts and logic. Deduction, your face. Yeah. Woo! Check that out. Could it be that the man was about to eat it? Of course. But then the other piece of soap reveals the answer. He was cutting it in half. It's he was sharing the soap. Yeah. He was going to take half a bath. Um. <laughs> God damn you. Even I, with my incredible thirst for practical knowledge, took only a single bite. But that begs the question of how the man was poisoned because there's no sign of food on the table. The tea! All right. We, we got to we gotta wrap this up. We got to wrap this up. I kind of love his little beatbox and shit here. <laughs> we got to wrap this up. Holy shit, do we have to wrap this up? Um, the victim was claimed by the poison tainted. Now, and now we go to the tea cut. And this tea cup. The tea cup from there. Yeah. Um, all right, folks. That's it. I, I don't know. This is enough for you to know whether you want to play this game or not. It seems like a really good game if you're into that sort of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I like this part. I really like this part because it means that we get to do the same stuff that we do in the courtroom, but in uh, in this little, like, investigation <laughs> section. And I love, I love all the little shattery stuff. So, anyway, like, subscribe. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Uh, head to patreon.com forward slash rage select. Help us out. Uh, you know, check out some bonus videos. You can check out the Discord. You can do all kinds of great stuff. And then, <laughs> this fucking guy. Every time that guy is on screen, <laughs> I just can't stand it. Michael, where can the people find you when you're not over here? Help me uh, out. You can find me on oneofus.net. Uh, we do a lot of movie and television reviews. There you go. And aha! <laughs> we fucking totally rewrote it. All right, we fixed it. Bye, everybody.